Hey! Hey! How are we keeping, guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog! Oh, yeah. I'm on camera shy now. Good luck. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Dodd. He's out. We're here. We're going to go for a shoot. It's looking like it's going to be a grim day, so I think today is going to be a mono black and white. I'm waiting to see the location I'm going to. Let's go. So we're here in a place called Killaloo and more specifically a place called Two Mile Gate and it's a location that I visited probably seven years ago with actually Dermot because I had a series that I did very early on in my YouTube life called uh, In the Landscape Photographer Profiles and I did a profile on this lunatic. I'll actually link to it up here if you want to watch it. You'll see how young he was then compared to when you see him today because he's looking absolutely ancient compared to then. But as you probably saw in the intro there, this area has a series of small jetties and they jut out into the water. Now the conditions today are dark and moody and I think it's probably going to end up being a black and white day. It may or may not, it might change if we get a bit of light. There are a couple of breaks that I'm hopeful for, but we'll see what they will turn out to be. So yeah, welcome to Two Mile Gate and to Killaloo. Let's see what shots we get today. So we're here now on one of the many jetties that come out from this small island that's right there. What I like about this one here is on the left hand side I've got some reeds, on the right hand side I've got some reeds, so it is quite balanced. The other ones had reeds only on one side, but it's great to have them on both sides. Now, plus the water is relatively calm, so what I'm hopeful for is a gap appears in the sky and all this on the other side here lights up with those clouds. I think if it does, it'll be really, really nice, but I'm gonna get set up anyway now, and then we'll see what type of shot I can get, and I'll talk you through then how I approach the scene when thinking from a mono point of view. Now I've taken my first test shot here and I've got the camera positioned below me as you can see here and I'm doing a couple of things. Number one, I want to make sure that I'm perfectly symmetrical within the shot. So like I said earlier on, the reason I didn't like the other jetty is because it was imbalanced. Here I have the uh, reeds on this side and I also have the reeds on that side over there. Now additionally, above that I have these trees and those trees are forming two purposes. Number one, they're creating a top end on the image, so they're framing the scene within the scene, but number two is it's raining right now. So what they're doing is keeping us bone dry as we are here. I think overall this first test shot actually is really, really nice. Um, I actually got a shot as well of Dad when he was out on the jetty. So I'll give you a look at both of them now. I'll give you a look at the shot that I've taken without Dad and then with the Dad. And yeah, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. With the Dad.
So, uh, Dad, do you miss the landscape photography? Yeah, kind of. Oh, really? Yeah, the midges, I don't like them. Oh, <laughs> uh, you remember when we were in Isle of Skye? Uh, yeah. Are they worse? No, they were bad, they were bad, bad, like. Are they, are they relatives or they got an Irish or Scottish accent? <laughs> hey, Scottish and Irish are always like that anyway, like, yeah. you know, so. Um, no, the ones in Scotland were ruthless. Do you remember we did the one minute challenge thing? It was like... Yeah, we couldn't do one minute. It was ba I got it, didn't I? No, you didn't. I you, did. you, didn't you run away? I can't deal with them. I'm out of here. Uh -huh. I'm running away. No, I did do one minute. Did you do it on video? I can't remember. I don't think I did, did do it one minute. Ask Paddy Murta. Ask Paddy Murta. Yeah, he'll tell you the truth. <laughs> anyway, I need to get in photo mode, man. Photo mode. Yeah. yeah, the midges are a problem and they're definitely out in abundance here. But I think actually the advantage that we have is that because it's raining, um, they're not out as much. But guess what? What was advantageous to me earlier on, which is these trees, is also advantageous to them because they'll be underneath the trees as well. So yeah, probably will get worse before it gets better, but yeah, do you know what? It's still fun to do it. Took another shot anyway here now since then. I'll give you a look at that now. The second shot that I just showed you there a moment ago, I kind of want to talk you through my idea and the process behind that image. So if I swing you around here and I give you a look, so oh, you can see the camera is here and it's looking more or less like a portal. So it's a portal through this out into this jetty and then you can still see the uh, reeds here and then the reeds here. And then the camera is higher than what it was earlier on. So I brought it this height here. And if I give you a look in the back here, you can kind of see what I'm doing is making sure that everything is symmetrical. So I've got my horizon level and then I've also got my focus in the center. And now that's given me a help as well to understand, make sure that it's all completely symmetrical. So yeah, there is the uh, second shot from here. I do like it, still moody. So again, I don't know, you'll know before me if I'm going to go black or white, I'm going to go colour, but we'll see what that's going to turn out like. But here's the next shot after that. I'll talk you through once I find it. For the next shot, what I decided to do is go further out into the jetty. And as you notice here, I'm not on the jetty because if you're standing on a jetty and you're doing a long exposure, which is what I'm doing right now, you risk micro vibrations going through and making the shot softer, not sharp. Now, going further out as well, it eliminates everything. So there's no clutter. It's just a simple jetty framed either side by the uh, reeds. Now, I've also had to go in quite uh, tight because there is a gap in the clouds above and it's making it unbalanced But for me right now doing the long exposure going for a 30 second exposure I think it's quite nice I'm also using my polarizer to take away any of that sheen and effectively what you have then is a nice moody image With flat water from that 30 seconds Definitely it's something that I'm going to like to process But moreover the tip for this is if you're on a jetty get off the jetty if you're doing long exposures because you do not want to have any movement whatsoever to be able to go through the image and then ruin it for you.
makes it down. So, uh, Dad, do you think that you've got a better shot, yeah? Um, absolutely. One thousand million percent, yeah. Well, I can barely see on the camera because it's so dark. Oh, yeah. Oh, trust me, it is. It's quite a nice picture. I can have quite happy. Very good. So for my next shot, what I'm doing, as you can see here, is I'm going out to the very end of the jetty. Now, it's very handy to have a dod. As I said before, everybody should have a dod. So dod now is filming me at the moment. And what he's also going to do is he's going to press the button on my camera to be able to get my shot. Now I could do it with a 10 second timer, but it would mean just running along this treacherous, slippy surface. And I don't particularly want to take a, a shower, you know, so I mean, not particularly in this water. Although Dad does tell me that it's nice and clean. So I'm going to turn around here. My, my settings actually are at the moment, I think I've got them quite fast. 0.5 seconds. 0.5 second. Uh, yeah, 2.5 seconds. So I have to hold F8 and I saw 100, okay. So I have to make sure now that um, I'm still for 2.5 seconds. I also have my polarizer on to be able to take away the sheen and it's gonna be a very simplistic and minimalist shot. So, Dad, I'm gonna turn around and do the honors, please. And that's the longest 2.5 seconds I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Ta-da! Here's the shot. Now, the light is fading fast here. We've got, as you can see, you know, dark clouds all around us. So what I'd have to do is come out to the very edge of the jetty here to be able to record this so that you can see me on the camera. But I just took a shot a moment ago. Um, Dad was, of course, copying my ideas. And he decided he wanted to come out here to take a shot as well. Now, I didn't help him. He did it all himself because, you know, I'm stupid that way I must be. But I decided to go over to the side over here um, and shoot with the jetty coming out. And I got a shot of the jetty coming out and then Dodd was doing his shot and then he was in the shot too. And I think it's actually better because I had his reflection in this water. You saw the shot, was it good? I say, uh, yeah, okay, it's good. All right, <laughs> I'll give you a look at the shot here, right? Let me know in the comments what you think. Is he right, is he wrong, is he full of uh, or? Is he actually correct? No, I like it. I like it. I actually really like it. The reflection is a nice touch to it because, like, like I said, it, all this kind of yeah. composition is coming in. It's all kind of centralized, so it's nice to get a different type of shot as opposed to the honeypot shots that you kind of use, yes. usually get. So it's, yeah, it is nice. Fair play. I know we've two ducked upside down ducks again. Oh, hang on. Can you see those ducks? Probably not because it's so dark. Look, that's where we were. You can see how dark it is inside there versus where we are out here is a small bit darker. Anyway, yeah, here's the shot, and then I'll check back in again before we finish. So yeah, let's see in the comments now. I'll have a look at it and see who got the better shot if Dad or me, or if you think it was a better shot that I got. Well, it. So we have to submit our photographs. Well, yeah. Like mine and yours versus yeah. see who's got the better shot like. What do you think? Can we do that? You probably have done it already. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah, look. Who's going to win like, so why are we even doing that? Dad, Dad is going to lose. Um, so yeah, look, as you can probably see, I'm lit up here because I have no on my phone behind me because it is so dark. And all you can see is me and Dad's beaming I white teeth. I really tan. <laughs> well, I kind of am actually. <laughs> yeah, his beaming white teeth. He's just back from uh, Lanzarote. Lan Lanzarote, yeah. Yeah, so he's yeah. topping up there in his colour. So yeah, <laughs> it was great to meet up with him again. I hope you enjoyed seeing him on the channel and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it has been on mono. I think it probably end up will be anyway, yeah. Um, don't forget to join me next Wednesday when I talk you through one of the edits on my Behind the Raw series. And if you're first time on the channel, the usual, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. Are you still got a YouTube channel? I suppose it's there, like, but I never use it. So. Right. Smash his... Check it out if you want. Check it out and just leave random comments on all his videos if you want, yeah? That'd be a great idea, yeah, okay. Fuck. <laughs>
Vinci's. Sorry. <laughs> That's why he doesn't do YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Schlange voll.